Every time I make some content related to VLSI, a lot of questions are directly or indirectly related to service-based companies in this industry. What are the advantages and disadvantages and if they really will be suitable to pursue if in our career in our later stages as well. So in this video, I'm going to cover all these points and which will help you decide if these are really right for you or not. So why delay? Let's dive in right into the video. Before starting off with what a service company really is, Hi everyone, my name is Vivek. I make content related to VLSI and various experiences which I have faced in my two years of my career which will help you guys in your career as well. Coming off with what a service company really is, service based company is a body manager, employee manager. They just recruit people from outside under their name and they send their employees to other companies um, who are in requirement of employees as contract basis. And these usually happen to the clients which are related to the service based companies and the number of employees who are going to be sent depends on the requirement of the client and how big the project is. The pay scale and the benefits and all the benefits and opportunities are going to be coming to you from the service based companies only but you are going to function and operate and work for a contract company which is usually going to be MNC. So that's how in short is a service based company. So now let's go and see what are advantages and disadvantages of them and if it is really right for you or not. Now the favorite part for many of you the advantages of a service based company. You are going to work for a large number of projects and usually the project turnaround time is going to be very less. Probably you are going to work in a project for 8 months and then switch you're going to go for other client. In this way, you're going to work for a large client base and also you're going to get into contact with a lot of people, learn from a lot of people. So it is going to be your skill set improvement and your knowledge improvement. And this is how it is going to help you. And these are one of the advantages. The second most important benefit of working in a service based company is that if the client you're working for is really impressed with your work and you have been working or engaged with him for a long time for five to seven years or so he would get impressed and also he would at situations this is not the most common thing but at times he might ask you to resign from your service based company and take a small interview kind of thing probably a formality thing and then get you converted full time to their company. Uh, this usually depends on the manager you work with, the employees you work with and the environment you are in but there are chances of getting you converted into a full time employee and this is how you need to understand is a small benefit. And one more thing is that if the product based company, the client who is recruiting you from the service based company, if they are an immediate requirement at times you might also get paid high. Of course you need to understand there are no benefits of salaries or bonds but the pay might be high at times if they are an immediate requirement of the resources. So these are some of the benefits you need to understand of working in a service based company. So let's see what are the disadvantages of working in a service based company right away. Now the most important part of this video the disadvantages of working in a service based company. Of course the most important and the crucial thing you need to remember is the salaries, the benefits and the stocks which you are going to get. They are not going to be close even close to the salaries you receive being working in a service based company. They are going to be very good pay scale and the benefits are going to be very good. Also in some companies the resources or the services what are available at the offices are not completely available to the employees who go there on contract basis. They are usually available only to the full time employees. So in this way you are not a, uh, you, are, you will not be able to utilize everything of them and the salary which you are going to get is not going to be as huge as uh, what the product based company pays. And one more important thing is the workload. If you are going to get X amount of pay the same person in the product based company who is going to get X amount of pay is not going to work as much as you are surely he is going to work less because you are a contract employee they expect you to work more the workload you are going to be given is more if you are going to work in service based company this is a very important thing which you need to know which you need to understand as well also one more important thing and the last point in this video are the disparities which you are going to get working in a service based company if you finish a project in about seven months eight months or any year or so the project finishes if you are lucky enough the company is going to hold you if there is another project going to start. If the project is done, uh, you are going to go back to your service based company and you are going to need to take uh, interviews again until you crack 
for the next company or for next product based company so the process goes on and on the cycle goes on and on how much ever experience you have whatever range you are 6 years 7 years or so still you need to go take the interviews and then proceed this cycle is going to be continuous of course there are some service based companies which do not need you to take an interview they just send you directly but understand this vicious cycle it is going to be difficult for you to take interviews to prepare for them and it is not going to be a stable environment for you over a long period of time so these are some of the advantages and disadvantages now going on with the conclusion i have provided you with advantages and disadvantages as a service based company there are going to be a lot of issues and one more important thing is there might be situations where you might be needing to pay bonds for over 4 years or 5 years and they you will be not be able to relieve from the service based companies as well in that case also it is a lot more disadvantageous situations because usually you are going to stay in your first company for 2 or 3 years not more than that and um, so because of this bond you are getting holded in that company for 2 more years uh, which is not good for your career and most probably they are not going to give a good raise as well most service companies don't so in this case also this is disadvantage for you last but not the least one more important thing which you need to note is that if a service based company is going to send you to a client they are usually going to add extra experience apart from the experience you have and by this i mean if you are an employee with 2 years of experience experience they are going to show you or project you as a 3 years or 4 years of uh, experienced guy to their client so that they are going to get a huge pay from you from your perspective and and if they get 10 rupees they are going to give you 6 rupees and that 4 rupees is going to be their benefit so for this profitability they share a wrong experience from you if you are okay with it it's fine but i see uh, ethical dilemma in this and i don't see this as a good thing from my perspective so holding on and going on and uh, summarizing everything i see a lot of disadvantages in this and personally from my side the learnings and everything are going to be there if you're working here but go comparing it with the disadvantages i see a small drawback here it depends completely on your choice analyzing everything i have spoken and also speaking with people on linkedin or talking with them on instagram and speaking with your seniors and then deciding if service based company is really for you or not and only then proceed so i hope this video has cleared most of your doubts and if you still have any doubts you can message me on linkedin or instagram and i'll be happy to help each and every one of you thank you so much for staying out so long this is vivek signing off Stay safe, stay informative. Bye-bye.